Hey there, welcome back, dear friends and deep thinkers, to the bridge over the Goodrin River. We have found out that there's a new lord in these lands. Another stag lord. And we're now gonna pay him with visit. It's a little bit... It's a little bit strange. So these people here are blocking the bridge. And... They say they hear... To the stag, they're the stag lords people, they say. And he's probably over there. They said he's here. I've got to talk to this man. Another I bandit. So what's down here? I've also seen many monsters here. Goblins roaming around. It is as if they brought these monsters with them. Bandit cleric. Yeah, they have some kind of... Is this his fortress? <laughs> this is the fake stag lord. Yeah, here we. I'm there. Here we go, fake stag lord man. We're gonna all come into your trap. Oh come on! I cannot have this. Uh, everyone, take their place. Hello. The infamous stag lord looks to be a portly man, somewhere in his forties. His armor is at least a size too small for this bulk. A ill fitting helmet on his head is adorned with antlers that vaguely resemble those seen on the head of the previous stag lord, now deceased. Who dares stumble into my headquarters without so much as a knock or a bow? Who the hell do you think you are? Well, Immanuel Khan, Baron and rightful ruler of this realm, and you are. Baron, you say, ah, you made a huge mistake coming here then, for I am the Stag Lord, hero to the people and enemy of any bureaucrats who would dare call the Stolen Lands their own. You? A hero? Not a chance. You're more like comic relief, Lindsay says. Um, I dealt with the Stag Lord myself. You're just an imposter and a miserable one at that. may be hard to see his face under his ridiculous helmet, but it's easy to see the bandit leader deflate upon hearing your words. I know it is I who is the stag, Lord. You you killed an imposter. The gang leader's voice quavers as he speaks. Well, this is just great. We were sent to get rid of the stag, Lord, and you say the one we took out was just an imposter. Then, I guess, Lindsay says, we're lucky to finally meet the real one, aren't we? Uh, okay. Um... Well, uh, yeah. All right, stag boy. You're going to take that ridiculous thing off your head, leave this tent, and do everything you can to ensure I never hear from you or your gang again. Everything you've collected so far will be returned to the people. Yes, your barony. I mean, your grace, of course. You're uh, too kind. Tristan tries and fails to keep a serious expression on his face. I suspect Saren Ray would not approve of such methods of rehabilitation, but their efficacy exceeds all expectations. The cleric bites his lip and chuckles softly. The imposter hastily removes his helmet and throws it to the ground. Okay, <laughs> that was resolved quickly. Uh, let's see. Give that to the people, will you? Uh, whoa, what? 34 diamond freaking dust? I love it. And some cheese. Diamond dust, a diamond and cheese. Yeah, it I mean, cheese time. is definitely worth keeping. Cheese is delicious. If you didn't know already, cheese is super delicious. Follow if you dare. Okay, now let's let's tell these people that the, the bridge is open again. And then we'll follow the Gudrun River further. Hey there, we can move! Yeah, wonderful! All the peasants are leaving our realm now! Mm. I don't know if that was a good idea, yeah, but uh, we, we did something good. It may be foolish, but it was good. Um... Now, are there more people here? I don't think so, but... Uh... 
all we did was good. Right, right, right. There's some more people here that we can meet, no? Not really. Okay, let's see where we can go next. Um, it wasn't a mystery solved at all, but um, at least... Hey, Tigny. A bad day for trader. You don't say. Tigny gives alongside. Use me a perfect spot until you brought the stag lord to heal. The refugees used to be held up at the bridge and they had little choice but to trade with me. And now an occasional traveler buys a piece of rye fled bread and that's on a good day. Yeah, gotta go. <laughs> good business. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who the next troll is who tries to control that bridge. Okay. Mm. I do what I must. Okay, so there's there's a lot of things going bad on that bridge. I guess. I guess. Um yeah, so here we go. Let's follow the Guldrin River to its source. Now it goes into into another lake, actually, which is um, a little bit crazy. But it may lead through that thing and then go to the mountains or something. It might be. There's a part of the Guldrin River. We've been there, and there's the other part of the Guldrin River, right? We haven't been there. Maybe. Mm, I mean, there's the Camelands. Let's maybe try that part, eh? Oh, there's a goblin fort here. Old stones. There's someone on the road. Get ready. Okay. A goblin fort. This is getting... It's getting weird. Um, Constitution damage. How may I help? Uh, a simple smile goes a long way. Troubles. That's a restoration. <laughs> One, okay. That wasn't as effective as I thought it was, but it was already good. Now it's removed. Finally, wonderful. That's good. Um. We meet someone on the road. I'm off. Is there the wheel mare cat again? There's something here. What the heck is that? <laughs> Someone's coming. Look. Be quiet. You all scare them off. Just letting the ink dry. Yeah, you disarm that. A large coin purse lies in the middle of the road. The purse is tied to a rope, awkwardly covered with dust, as if to mark its presence. The rope winds its way to a cluster of dense bushes nearby. Um, yeah, sure. As you pick up the purse, a jubilant scream comes from the bushes, and someone or something starts yanking on the rope so hard you almost stumble. You pull the rope and there's a shout. A moment later, a band of goblins leaps out from the bushes, screaming and shouting. And they fight us. For real, no. Rubbing their bruises, the goblins pick themselves up and try to brush the dirt off. But their hands are so filthy, they cake on more with every swipe. Not fair! You caught in our trap! You surrender now! <laughs> it was a trap for whom? For passers-by and other bypassers. They pass by back and forth for no reason at all. Shaman says catch one or two. You find use for them. Uh, why would your shaman want to catch humans? We're not telling you, it's a secret! Goblin scratches his head, then whispers to the other, Any, you know why shaman wanting humans? He won't say, damn. Turning back to you, the goblin raises a finger. A secret, a very big secret! After that, as if unsure of what to do with his finger, he awkwardly stretches behind his ear. So where is this shaman of yours? He be not far, in our fort by the river. The goblin points presumably toward the fort. Uh, did you... Have you caught anyone yet? 
No way we did, we could, but you came and spoiled it all. Now shame and be tearing our ears off along with our heads. And why do you serve this shame? What's inside the purse? Small, small stones, you were expecting gold, huh? Ha! Huh, fooled you! Uh. Air. Get out of here now. I see you again, you'll get what you deserve. Goblins scream and run in all directions. Alright. I mean, there's still hope that we can make peace with goblins, but... Uh, I don't have high hopes for that. I'm just telling it as it is. In due time. Uh, there was something here. What have we even found here? I'm there. Mm. Was that all? That's the weirdest things they do. I believe I found something. Hey, there's something nice. A little bit of a uh, token, a token, a token. Uh, we have to give back these tokens Follow one day. That storyteller or what? something else here somewhere ah tree stump there's always things in tree stumps right now there isn't but hey um in the goblin fort now we know there is a shaman and we might go to that goblin fort then and see that shaman who wants to catch humans or oh, probably humanoids that cannot be a good thing there's the bald stones. A rocky riverbank with almost no vegetation except for a few bushes. When the little sullen river floods, the bank disappears beneath the water, preventing any trees from taking root here. Okay. Um, I mean... Ah, okay, we're here now. There's this thing. It's outside. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll return. And go to that goblin fort on the other side of the river. Let's get there. I need to catch my breath. Nope. I won't enter this location. Resting would be nice, don't you think? We'll rest here. The way you smashed that creep with a spell. <laughs> Left nothing but smoking boots. And the way you picked up those two and crashed their helmets together. It sounded like the bells were tolling. Ah, yeah. Stories, right? An excellent meal. A goblin fort. Who knows? I mean, maybe the shaman is responsible. Maybe the shaman is poisoning the river? I don't know. Maybe that's the thing, right? The shaman to puts things in the river. And people drink the stuff. They are infected with the seed. And they give birth to monsters. And these infected should be catched, caught, should be caught by the by the goblins to bring back to the fort, so the goblins get more monsters. That that is a typical goblin plan, I'd say. I'll take care of it. Terrible, terrifying, and I don't know, completely idiotic. Protection from arrows for an hour that could become useful. We'll see. Yeah, actually, why not? Why not do this? Paul's life. Mm -hmm. Well, drink some strength. How about you? Uh, you give us heroisms. Uh, 
Octavia. Uh, ourselves. Ourselves as Lindsay. Mm. Let's see. Tristan. Uh, we could have that delay poison thing. Uh, the protection from alignment isn't long enough. Archon's aura also not um, less weapon. Yeah, these are all too short. Too short to do. No time for idling. We can give out box skin. Here we go. Woof woof. Let's give out some box skins. Ah, oh, yeah, and the mage armor. Friendship lasts forever. Here. And we can. We have three hurricane moves. We can start with one. It's fine. It is fine. 